stuff that normally I use to strip off the tech from the deck. This is the tech that I take without the heater. And today we start with this one. I'm struggling a lot to strip off the tech from the deck because it's, it's so glued that it's very impossible to take off without damaging the gel coat and the fiberglass. So I show you what's happened. I try any system to strip off the tech. With the frame, it's impossible to go under the wood because it's so glued, and so it doesn't work. With this one, you strip off also the gel coat. This doesn't work. This work, but this is the result. Have a look. This is not good, absolutely not good. It's awful. So, with the help of my friend Franco of Top Tech, he gave me this one. So I will make a small cut on the wood and with a chisel, I take off all the single wood without hoping to not damage the gel coat. In any case, I need to fix all this stuff with uh, epoxy resin and make flat everything. Oh my God, I finished to take off the 80% of the tech on the cockpit, only in the place where you sit down, not of course here, because I will, I will do later. But you can see how difficult it is to deal with this type of tech glued in the cockpit. This is the problem. When you strip off the tech, there is no way to take off the tech without damage the leads. So, also here, just in the, in the curve, and I, I needed to repair with the gel coat here.
Here we are. I finished the work on the lids and the seat. You can see how many patch without gel coat. The tech was so glued that it was impossible to take out without the strip off or the gel coat. Today I spent all the day to strip off the tech on the seats and take me a lot of time to do, you can see. And using hammer, chisel, my fan multimaster, heater, that one, hard work. And now we start to countersink all the holes, brand new stuff. We need to choose the perfect size. 